This time on, going off the menu. And I hope you're ready. Our client turns the tables. How did you find this place? Taking us to one of LA's best kept secret Mexican spots. What are you hiding in there? I want to know like the OG, legit Latin experiences you can get. Oh. But when it's time for us to show off our underground intel, I'm not sure where we're going. We may just end up spinning our wheels. <laughs> Oh, this is ridiculous. We're taking diehard foodies on an underground adventure of a lifetime. Have mercy on me. It's going off the menu. Brought to you by the Rab4 Hybrid. Our newest client actually sent us a location to meet him at. He wants us to kind of show off. I like that. My name is Lee Rowan. I love trying all different aspects of food, different types of food. I hate the term foodie, but I'm a foodie. I've had some amazing food experiences. The tip top was eating at the French Laundry. The food was so perfectly presented, every ingredient was immaculate. Maybe I cried a little bit at that meal. The only time I ever cry over food is when I burn things. <laughs> So I heard about this barbacoa joint online. I read a, a blog post about some of the cool, hidden, underground Latin food spots throughout LA. I guess this is one of many family-run joints, super authentic, muy auténtico. Having traveled around Latin America and eaten my way through it, I want to have that truly awesome underground Latin food experience in LA. Los Angeles is the best place in the world, aside from Mexico City, to get Latin food. I have the location, South Central LA. Who doesn't like a good adventure? I don't feel like I'm in downtown LA anymore. No, this is definitely South Central. Do I see a sign that says <gasps> oh, wait. barbacoa? Barbacoa. Boxel. That's there he is. Look out. <laughs> so excited. Welcome. Hello. Hi. Nice to Love meet, it meet you. Love it to meet you. Russell, Lee. how are you? I'm Lee. How are you? I'm well, well. Good way Thank to start. You. Thank you. It smells Thank you. amazing. How did you find this place? Read online about how awesome this stand was. Oh, wow. I love that tortilla press. See how yeah. it works. That is unbelievable. These things are flying off so the presses, right? Yeah. And it's Julio. See. Si. Hola, mucho gusto. Lee, mucho gusto. How do you know Julio? I read about him online. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's just on it. Oh, look at that oh. consomme, too. That looks, oh, wow. looks like a gem right there. They're known for their goat and their lamb. That's juicy. Do you want a taco? Yes. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. This is legit. Este es el estilo de... Estilo Taxco Guerrero. Bueno, bueno. So this is from the Guerrero state in Mexico, from like the city of Taxco. They're, they're famous for like their, I think they're silver. But okay. now, hopefully, no. tacos. Yeah. Well, you got that accent down. down. Yeah, I'm trying. I built up good enough conversational Spanish that I can get by at a restaurant. And it's helped me out in some great places. Okay, we have to okay, put an order over there. Please. No hablo. No escuela, uh, no escuela en español. Uh, no, no hama hama. I, you need to help me with the... Uh, can we get three mixes? Yeah, can we just wait over there? I feel like you're almost in a little bit of Mexico here, uh, where you don't really know the customs at all. You sort of don't know where to order. Do I order from the chef? Do I order from the waitress? Do I order at the counter over there? Shall we go sit? Yeah. What's the most special thing you have on the menu? Um, cabeza. 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 Oh, yeah. What kind of cabeza? Borrego? La cabeza? Yes. <laughs> Please. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. Just bring okay. everything. Yeah. I am so jazzed with this entire experience right now. Oh. Buen provecho. Mmm. That's just a right. massive bite. Oh, that's so good. This is everything I wanted in a tortilla and then more. Do the very white music. Come on, girl. Let's play. I am so excited about the cabeza. I mean, that's kinda, my groove. He's got it out of there. Should we go take a look at it? Oh, wow, wow, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Super funky. Oh, my God. Check oh. that. Here, it's authentic because it is a delicacy. Wow. <laughs> wow. wow. Check that out. That's Matt. not something you see every day. Yeah. That's pretty incredible. I've eaten grain probably six times before. If you opened a yogurt and were to scoop the top out, it has that hard texture, but then a little funk to it that gives it that brain taste. I want the eyeball. This is the cabeza. Oh. Cabeza! <laughs> the texture is just fabulous. Wait, are you about to cry, Russell? No, not yet. <laughs> 
here's the thing. You can only get so much from like vlogs. I want to know like the like OG legit like Latin experiences you can get. What else is out there like in the Latin world that like is undiscovered? And especially is like new and cool here. So you're looking for like interesting preparations. Totally. I have a friend, Bill Esparza. He writes for Los Angeles Magazine, and he started his own blog called Street Gourmet LA. He's the know-it-all about Latin food. Where can we catch Bill, do you think? I'm going to take you to this really cool project called the Ceviche Project. It's a pop-up that they've taken residency in a restaurant over in uh, the Silver Lake area. Cool. Wow. Yeah, so Bill is going to be there. <laughs> that sounds awesome. I have been dying to go to this place. I've been following them on social media. Their food is straight up food porn. It'll be a big contrast from this, but you'll be impressed. After we finish this meal, we'll just have, we'll have another meal. Yeah, we'll have another meal. Why not? Everything on the menu, guys. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> have people take us out more often? You really kick this one out of the football field. <laughs> football. Football. Goal! I just like that you guys are introducing me to Bill Esparza. Oh, so you've heard about him. I have, I have. I mean, like, the dude is like a god of like the underground LA Latin food scene. I hope you're ready. Awesome. There she is. Hey, Liza. Oh, so nice to see you. Nice to this see. is my friend Russell. Very this nice is to our meet guest you. today, hey. Lee. Lee nice, nice to meet you, Lee. Just have a seat? Yes, or? let's do this. We just ate so much barbacoa. You did. We are ready for ceviche. Well, this is Ceviche Project. Octavio and his wife Shannon have been doing this for years. They've been doing this pop-up. They're eating ceviche all the time. They're traveling for ceviche. Every event they change. Okay. When it's a pop-up, it's not consistent. You can't right. like pick the date you want to go. Right. You have to go when they're doing their event. Welcome. I'm Octavio uh, from Ceviche Project. I'm the founder. You guys are down for a tasting of different kind of seafood uh, from all over the world. You get your drink, you get your dish, and then multiply by five. And that's how it goes. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Welcome. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. And here we go. Cheers. Cheers. Buon appetito. Buon appetito. Enjoy. All right. Awesome. Mm. This takes you out of your zone. Yeah. I love the addition of texture to oysters. Sex. Look at that. Wow. Oh. oh. So here, uh, the Spanish octopus is boiled in pineapple. It's a technique used in Mexico, and it's super, super tender. That's right, guys. gorgeous. So enjoy. We want to get everything in there. I could eat this every day. Yeah. That's great. Oh, wow. Every ceviche I have after this will not live up to this ceviche. This is elevated. Yeah. Fish is All, so the, fresh. the fish is beautiful. These are exceptional, though. Has a little mm. spice there, too. Yeah. This yeah. is a flash marinated red snapper. It's spicy, sweet, citrusy. Don't be afraid of just grab it and oh. auto. Yeah. This is dialed in. This is really good. good. This is super dialed in. So much, Bill. Lee came all the way from San Francisco to have an underground experience. And we need to give him something extra special because he's a foodie on his own. What you're talking about, specialization, yeah. is where you find the best food. The roadside places that do one thing, and, yep. and sometimes it's generations that have been do doing it. Well. it. Especially like God. South Central, Compton. You can't put that thing inside of a regular restaurant and do it the same way. We're going to go to an extra special place. Is this like a hidden spot? We're going to a tire shop. A tire shop. <laughs> a tire shop? It's a thing here. All the, the tire shops are owned by Latinos, you know? So at night, they're like, hmm, I got this parking lot. They rent it out to these guys, wow. and they set up a little stand. You're saying more meat? The chorreada from the city of Mazatlan in the state of Sinaloa. Take the tortilla, throw melted cheese on there, sprinkle it with unrefined lard, and then put the meat on, and then your toppings. Oh. Wait, what does chorreada mean? I don't know, and I don't even care. <laughs> I don't care. I mean. That's awesome. Yes, I mean, I want to see him cry. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. yes. Cheers. Like, yes. 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 At a tire yes. shop. At a tire shop. shop. It won't be the first time a grown man has cried at a tire shop. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> you just uh, follow awesome. me. All up in it and I'm in it to win it. See ya, went ahead and did it. Now I gotta go get it. I'm out. all up in it. We're following Bill. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, uh, Don't you know. lose them. Are we in the city, the city of Compton? We are in the city of Compton. No? I love that lyric drop. Thank you very much. That was the, that was the recognition I was looking for. Are we going that way? Uh, I think we were. We lost him. Really? We. Yeah. <laughs> 
once you see if you can get Bill on the phone, because obviously there are a handful of tire shops down here. Call him. All right. Hey, Bill, it's Liza. We, Dude. we lost you. Where are you? We got tacos to get to, you know? Yeah, well, we're... Uh, we're <laughs> Maybe. We're at a tire shop on Alameda and uh, Mealy. Yeah. Uh, we are just just south of Rosecrans. OK, we're All close. Right. Yeah, you're not that far. All right, thanks, Bill. <laughs> Bye-bye. Well, this was a doppelganger. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it had Slide! A... <laughs> you see him? There oh, he there is. is. <laughs> I'm on site. Oh, oh, we're <laughs> glad to be here, man. Awesome. Oh my gosh. goodness! Mesquite I mean, this is a real setup oh over my gosh. here. Okay, the if it doesn't have mesquite, it's not carne asada. That's oh right. So you got to have the mesquite. This wasn't here a couple hours ago, and yeah. they just no. There's cars here during the day. It's a tire shop taqueria. This is amazing. This is a real <laughs> LA experience. You know? <laughs> and are these buddies of yours? Yes. This is Jose. Senior and junior. Oh, father and son. Oh, that's no. great. Mucho gusto. Gracias por todo. And they're from Mazatlan. And, and what, what's only the signature Mazatlan. of Mazatlan? Chorreadas. Oh, OK. It's carne asada with lard and cheese. These condiments are pure Mazatlan style. The guacamole sauce, the pico de gallo, the purple onion. This, I think, might be my favorite meal of the day. <laughs> There's the fat. Now everybody went silent. Yeah. <laughs> Jose, what are chorreadas? What does that mean? Well, we really don't know what it is, but everybody calls it. <laughs> OK. That's just the name. Right. Nobody cares as long as they're good. That's there you go. There you I actually kind of like that it's this mysterious term that no one can define. Oh, my gosh, what is that? <laughs> wow. Forget chips and salsa. Yeah. This is Papas Locas. <laughs> Crazy potatoes. The new amuse bouche. Should we get our amuse on right now? Yes, we, we should. Uh... potatoes, a little cream. Buen provecho, guys. Mm. That meat is amazing. Mm. Everything's <laughs> married you. so perfectly. There's not a lot of heat to the to the chili. I think you want a jalapeno. I don't need to I don't need to tear Jalapenos? myself apart. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I think it's that time of the day, right? Oh, there you wow. go. So you wanted heat, you got it. Look how beautiful that looks. Yeah, we got to get the, the, the vampiros and chorreadas. Two of each. Uh, Russell, I think you were about to eat one of those. Is that right? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna try these gonna, onions. Yeah, I'm gonna load some of those up on maybe one of my. Uh, I just want to taste the onions here. on their own. I have the taco sweats. The taco sweats. I have the taco sweats. Yo tengo los suedos de tacos. It will not be pretty. Wow. Thank you. Thank you so much. Load up the table. Wow. So, seriously, what's the difference? The, the vampiro just has cheese, and the chorreada has meat, lard, and cheese. I want that lard action right now. Mm. Is this what you were looking for? Um, guys, this is a winner right here. This yeah? is amazing. Bill, thank you. <laughs> I would eat this every day. This is amazing. I have never eaten out of a tire shop that's <laughs> operating. Neither Clearly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You have to get out and do this to really discover a city. And you would have to get on a plane right. to have this experience. Yeah. You know, besides coming here, you'd have to go to Mazatlan. In Mexico, street food is technically illegal, but it's tolerated. But here in Los Angeles, we have a whole other set of obstacles. People want to cook the way they want to cook, right. and they don't really care about the rules or what the health department says. Right. And if they get hassled somewhere, they're going to move somewhere else. Right. It's, it's unstoppable. Bill, I think I feel like I could eat tacos with you and just listen to you tell me stories <laughs> about history, about food, all day long. Are you going to cry for us? <laughs> I'm going to cry when I get a third taco. Don't roll <laughs> this has been amazing. I mean, a truly incredible experience. We went to three incredible locations today. We had a lot of fun together. They're great people, and I can't wait to see them again. Two chorreadas. Yeah. Yeah. Chorreadas. We don't know what you are, but we know what you taste like. We, we love, love you. Love you very much. <laughs> yes. Cheers. 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 Next on Going Off the Menu. Another client in LA. His name is Tori Valachi. He's on Mythbusters. I think we're in the right place. <laughs> I think I found something. Oh, cool. You're blowing my mind. It's a breadsicle. Oh, my God. I love this place. Are you kidding? <laughs>
Oh, yeah.